Welcome back. I love little lounge music. Our next guest has been on the comedy stage for more than 31 years. And when he's not on stage, you can find him on his motorcycle. That's Pretty right. Good. Breeze, welcome to the show. Russ Nagel is Yay. here. Hi, guys. Thanks shows, for having me. Shows this weekend at the Comedy Zone. Super excited to have you here in Jacksonville. It's super excited to be back in Jacksonville. And it's bike week. So when, how yeah. Is bike week? When I hear America's Funniest Biker, you know, and I think about bikers, Comedy's not the first thing that pops <laughs> in my head. Well, you know, when you hear about biker, you want to find out about a real biker, have bike week during love bug season. <laughs> See how many show up. There'll be like nine of us here. So oh. how, how do you become America's Funniest Biker? You coined the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carrot Top and Larry the Cable Guy was already taken. I right? see. So, uh, you know, I've been in comedy 30 years. In 2005, this ca character, not a character, I've been riding all my life, was created in Las Vegas. I went to see a friend. He said, do you want to go on stage? And I did it yeah. dressed like this, and I went, that's the hook that I'm looking for. Because in this business, you have to, somebody, they, they won't remember Russ Nagel, but they'll remember that biker guy. Sure. Or they'll, or they'll remember America's Funniest Biker dot com, <laughs> you know, which will take Smooth. you to all my links on social media, you know, Facebook.com slash Russ Nagel. So, okay, so me and Matt were talking about, like, before you came on, we were just trying to decide, like, what our cool factor would be when it comes to, like, <laughs> Like a cool factor? On to, to bikers. To bikers. And let me explain. Curtis, who's the normal co-host, rides a scooter. I ride a Honda 250. Yeah. Like, what level? Where are we at on the, hey, we're cruising down to Daytona Bike Week? Where where, where do we fit in with you guys well, on a scale well, of 1 well, to 10? You know, first of all, I don't care what you ride. First of me. I don't, okay. I don't care what you ride. Um, <laughs> I, the, the, on the scooter <laughs> is probably going to get more respect than the, the, the 250. Come on! <laughs> yeah, Matt, I mean, I, I told mean, you. I called that one. I don't mean one. to be I rude, that one. but you'll probably, yeah, the person that's the, the got the the testosterone, I don't know what word to use. Um, that's like a good word. I like that word. Yeah, testosterone, to, um, masculinity. Masculinity. That goes, yeah, there that, you go. They're going to get more respect <laughs> to riding a scooter <laughs> down there with some of these hardcore bikers. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you would amuse me. You, oh, you see, I'm just hanging out with Russ. <laughs> Um, you can just say, no, no, wife, he's a funny my guy. Ri my wife rides a 900cc <laughs> motorcycle. <laughs> so, Matt, you got a little bit of So, I'm guessing there. you're on the Honda 250 Rebel. I am on the Honda 250 Rebel. Which is funny you say that because my son, who is 15, he told me the day he wants to learn to ride. And I said, I will buy you a Honda 250 Rebel <laughs> to learn <laughs> on. In my defense, <laughs> I just started riding last year. Okay, well, there you there, go. There, see? Okay. There, well, then, you know what? Like I said, you, you, could, you, know, you could ride alongside me all day long. I would have I no think, problem with that. I think, Matt, you would get more masculinity points if you just hopped behind Curtis and held on real tight. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... That's going to be where that goes. The clean show, right? <laughs> you're right. Exactly. Sure where we're going with this. Okay. All right. So my question for you is, yes, you're a part of a, you know, when you think of biker, you think of like, okay, there's like a group of them. So within that dynamic, what is, how are you perceived? Like, what's your role there? Like, are they like, like if you're with a group of bikers, are they kind of like, Russ, tell me a joke. No, because my, you, most bikers have nicknames. Okay. You'll see, because we don't want law enforcement to know who we really are. <laughs> okay. So uh, my nickname or biker name, uh, they call me Jokes. That's they, what call they call you Jokes. Call me That's Jokes, not okay. Joker. You know, I wanted to go with Punchline, so I just named me oh, Jokes. Oh, I like Punchline. It's like yeah. my brother rides. He's a mechanic. We call him Wrench. Oh. And then my other brother, I can't tell you why we call him what we call him. <laughs> I can tell you after the segment. Um, so I go to Jokes because what I do. So uh, I forgot the context of the question. Yeah, you guys no, it's no, good. No, that's, I love it's that. Good. So real quick, off the bat, what are what are our biker names right now? Go, Matt. Uh, um, Tough guy. Beards. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Beards. Like beard? Beards? Beard? Beard? Like beard. beard would be good. That'd be good. Because that's a nice beard. That's that's. Uh, Sorry, is, sir. That, is that a clip on? <laughs> <laughs> Coming from jokes, that means a lot. Thanks so much, Russ. All right, you guys can always get tickets and go to ComedyZone.com to catch Mr. Russ Nagel's show. Thank you so much he for having America's me, guys. Thank you. Spiker. We'll be right back, folks.